Good morning, PHS. PTV's Jacob Kowatch. And I'm Xandra Kurt. Thank you for joining us. Today is October 12, 2017. Topping our news today, let's get you out the door and on your way if you are in a meeting going on now. Spanish Club, you are meeting in the cafeteria. Seed Club, you guys are in room 218. BPA, giddy up to room 108. Alpha Delta Rho, you should be in room 120. Then, from after school, from 3.30 to 5.30, if you are in the Robotics Club, you'll be in room 141 for practice. All right, moving on to our trivia winner from two weeks ago. Natalie and Elizabeth, and we're about to crash in another room. Our PTV crew stopped by Miss Gaziola's SRT classroom to drop off four bags of yummy chocolate donuts. Special thanks to PTV's Alexander Kurtz for capturing all of the video of the winning class as well as dropping off their sweet prize. Moving on to our trivia question from last week, we asked you what was the capital of Australia? The answer was Canberra. Thank you to the dozens of rooms that sent in your answers via email. The winning room was Mr. McKenzie's SRT classroom. Expect the PTV crew to show up any second, guys, to drop off your winning prize. Everyone likes money, but have you ever wondered who the richest person in the world is? Well, that's this week's trivia question, so get Googling. If you know the answer, act fast and submit your answer right away to the email address on your screen to land your SRT classroom, a tasty snack from our PTV crew. Again, this week's PTV trivia question is, who is the richest person in 2017? SRT teachers, submit your class answers to PHS Marketing at Plymouth.k12.in.us. Good luck to all of our SRT classrooms, and thank you, everyone, for participating. Would you stick your hand inside a box to guess what's inside of it while being blindfolded? Is this, um, black or like slime? Is this slime? No. Water with, like, soil in it. It's like, oh, it's cold. <laughs> the heck? Ew. How is this not leaking through the box? That's my question. Nope, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Ew! Ew, it's weird. Oh, God. Ew, is it ketchup? No. <laughs> is it mustard? No. Is it mayonnaise? No. It's like slime, like that stuff you can buy at Walmart. No. Is that like pudding? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm right? Yeah. Taking a look at what's on the lunch menu for today, we will be having chicken noodles, mashed potatoes. The Marshall County Museum is looking for volunteers, especially on Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the train room. Other areas they need help include video editing and shooting, data entry, someone who is willing to help with school tours, cleaning, and general repairs. If you are interested, call the museum at 574-936-2306 or stop in. Remember everyone, volunteer hours look great on college applications or your eventual resumes. And the Neighborhood Center is looking for volunteers for Stuff a Bus this coming Saturday, October 14th from 10 to 4 at Martin Supermarket here in Plymouth. They also need volunteers to help unload the Stuff Bus at the Neighborhood Center. If you are interested, please email Ms. Porteous. As we told you last week, we are trying to get more of you involved in our PTV show. The feedback we received last week on our Ready to Answer segment was overwhelmingly positive, so we decided to keep the segment around for another week. Multimedia journalists Courtney Cook and Megan Scott hit the halls and had so many of you truly have your thinking caps on while here at school in the second edition of Ready to Answer. Welcome to Are You Ready to Answer Trivia? Disney Edition. Find your humanity. Haven't any of you ever had a Um, Aladdin. No. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> you know? Uh, Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No. No worries. What? what Rapunzel. The movie. Uh, Tangled. Oh. Uh, Rapunzel. Tangled. Yes. Alright. Brave. Good job. Is it Tangled? Yes. 
Rapunzel. Tangled. Tangled. That's Tangled. I'm surrounded by idiots. <laughs> Disney. Oh, it's not Disney. <laughs> yeah, I thought. Surrounded by idiots. I have no idea. The Lion King. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, uh, the Lion King. Yes. Yeah. Um, Lion King. Yes. yes. Good job. <laughs> the Lion King. I was hiding under your porch because I love you. Uh, Lilo and Stitch? Like, I, I, don't I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I so creepy. <laughs> uh, um, uh, I'm trying to think of it, hold on. Is it up? Yeah. Up? Yes, you're right. Up. Yes. Uh, up. You're right. <laughs> up. Yes. Up. Yes. Up. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you remind me of someone I met in the marketplace. I have no idea. I don't know. Beauty and the Beast. Cars. Aladdin. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yes, I'm so good at this. <laughs> Aladdin. Yes. <laughs> Aladdin. Aladdin? Yes. Aladdin. I haven't seen that movie. You're my greatest adventure. Oh, um, wait a minute. Uh, what? Over the head. I don't know that one. <laughs> the Invisibles. <laughs> I have no idea. Hercules? No. Oh, Incredibles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Incredibles. Oh, The Incredibles. Yes. The Incredibles. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I am no clue. Sure to watch for another episode the next week when we come back from fall break. Now let's look into our sports. Stay tuned to see what happened during this week. Look at our PTV sports lineup for tonight. At 6 p.m., we have three events taking place. The ninth grade football team going against Goshen here at home. Our ladies' functional action. And the boys' tennis team will have their banquet in the cafeteria until 8 p.m. Last Friday night here at the Rock Pile, the Rockies faced the Hawks. The Rockies started out scoring, but so did the Red Hawks. It was a close game up until the third quarter when the Rockies took over and were determined to win. The final score was Rockies 41, Goshen 21. Special shout out goes to Benji Nixon who played a great game scoring four touchdowns. Another special shout out goes to the homecoming queen, Leah Smith. And of course, Josie Coons for capturing these Rocky highlights from the sideline. Tomorrow the Rockies will be in Napanee facing the Panthers. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. Make sure to head to Napanee tomorrow to support our Rockies. The Pride of Plymouth had a very successful weekend at the ISSMA Open Class B contest this past weekend in Fort Wayne. For those of you who do not know what that is, it's the music version of sectionals. Mother Nature sent the Pride some major blows, but the band students still brought their best performance. The wind was so intense that it knocked over all 22 props used in the show, but that didn't stop the color guard from having an incredible show. The band won the competition, placing first out of five schools, and will move on to regionals at Lafayette Jefferson this coming weekend. Mr. Ames said that the band is determined to be one of the top 10 schools to participate in semi-state. Tickets for this week's event will be $10 to get through the gate, and watch our Pride at Plymouth perform. Congratulations, band students, and keep up the good work. Thanks for joining us for this week's show. Bye, guys. See you when we get back in the next two weeks. Fire.